It's seven in the morning and neither team is ready to move. Laziness is not something that I appreciate in the slightest because there's too much work to be done. And so when it's daylight, you're supposed to be out doing things. Come on, let's go into the kitchen. Hush me. Don't hush me. I can take you by the hand. Well, then get up. That's your choice. Either. As for Chloe, well, she's out of bed. But that doesn't mean she's going to cooperate either. Now stand in front of the sink. Why? Because that puts the dishes you in aren't right going to get position. done if you're not going to do them. So I suggest you do them now. Guess which one of us is in the position to give orders? I or I'll pet you. It's just pathetic. It's not my place to do your job. The dishes still aren't done. You are here being one of our kids. There is not one of my kids who didn't have to do this. I refuse to do it. You refuse to do it. No, no, no. You need to come back here, Chloe. We've got to finish up the dishes first. The food has to be put up and the dishes have to be done. You don't just turn around and well, leave. Well, I'm not doing saying, them, so there's no point in me going them. back to the house, is there? Why aren't you doing them? Because I don't want to. You can't make me do them. I can make you stand there. If you cared nothing about what they would end up like, then you give up. If you want to see a change in them, you have to put in more effort than they do. You have to match the resistance plus a couple ounces more. You know, with our horse training, we say you take as long as it takes, and then next time it takes less time. And so we practice waiting the horse out till he's ready to listen. We have very strong belief that I'll do them, don't you? I figure I'll outweigh you. OK, then. By the end of the week, I'd like a little bit of respect, but I don't expect it from you now. Patty's persisted for nearly an hour. And finally, Chloe's given in. Close to it. All you gotta do is pick them up and put them in the rack. With horses and with kids, it's the same. They learn by when you quit. So you must stick it out till they do what you've asked. And then you release the pressure when they're thinking and say, great, we got the job done. I hate her. I want to stab her. Come on, mommy. They're riding into the high country to a part of the ranch <laughs> most of their visitors never see. This way has been tremendously tougher than I thought it would be. Let's wake up at this time. Fast, fast, fast. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Now, now, now. At home, I've always got people to do shit for me. And here, I have to do it by myself. Um, so, yeah, it has made me appreciate them a whole lot more. Come on. My world doesn't revolve just around me. It's everyone else in it. Whoa, all right, settle down. Okay. Let's go. It doesn't matter how bad you are. It doesn't matter how screwed up you are. There's always a chance that you can be helped. I am actually really surprised that they continue and continue to try. These people really give a damn. I guess they got a good heart. The biggest reason I wanted you to see this is this is where my mother and dad are buried at. I will be buried right over here someday. And when you compare the length of your life to the age of these rocks, the age of these streams, we're here for a mere seconds. Think about what you're doing and the long-term effect. The things that I do in my life will outlive me for generations. And how well you live your life is how well you'll be remembered. It made me think all the stupid things I've done and just say I died today, they'd be like, oh, remember her as all the stupid shit she did instead of she actually did something good.
Our teens will be travelling home tomorrow and their parents will be waiting to see if their words translate into actions. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay.